Okay, it's set up. Here's my go box. Now I've showed you all already this item up here where the little green light goes on. Here we go, a little bit of shaking. When the little bit of light goes on, I hit my go switch. Shows my voltage off the right battery, the radio. Microphone set up. It's all ready to go. This can lay on here because the foam up here will keep it steady. I've got my charging pole right here and I'll show you how that works. Those are hot all the time. And here I have a little uh, energy meter, Tenergy, and it will show how these work. Now you'll see this shows 13.1 volts up here. This will show 13 and one tenth. So the voltage is there. Now we'll go to the other side. I'll flip this over. Oh, gotta be the right direction. There we go. And you'll see that that volt, that battery has 12.6. Now up here, I turn it on and it shows 12.7 on this one. So everything is, everything is working. There's the radio. It is working. I don't know if anybody's going to hear me, but I do have the antenna connected up here, as you can see. KC3PCS, K3RJW. There's the answer from the repeater, so I know it's getting out. Not sure he's on the air, so that doesn't matter. You could see by the little green bar at the bottom that I was getting full strength from it. Inside here, I have it set up with my VX8 and its antenna. My FT70D, which is a, well, the opposite way, uh, which is a digital radio that I go through the repeater with an antenna. It's fused to the main batteries. Got both fuses in it. My charge for it turns out to be a kid's toy charger. Now this charger puts out 12 volts and it will get connected by the Anderson power poles. That's these two little things right here. Into this, at any given time, I can charge the left battery. I can charge the right battery by using this while I'm transmitting on the opposite battery. So this is done. There's my coax going up to my antenna. Also, I have something I showed last time where you plug this right into your cigarette lighter. Now this end won't match these yet, but it will match the back of the radio plug that goes inside. This will be stored inside so I always have it. This will fit inside, so it'll always be ready. And then I have one more item that I'm happy with. I don't know if you've ever seen these, but it's a solar charger. This will also go with me. This is going to be set up somewhere where it's bright sun. Many times by having it attached to the box, you don't get bright sun. So this has plenty of cord. I'll be able to lay it outside, get direct sunlight, and this will charge the batteries also. So I have my DC charger, I have my AC charger, I have both batteries. So this is ready to go with everything I have here and I can stay on the air for a long, long time. So my go box is complete. As you can see, I have instructions here for the FT70D, the digital one, and all the frequencies that are here are inside here and I scan them at all times. So I'm very happy with what goes on here and I think I can set this up for scan right now. Menu scan. Well I don't so we'll exit and go up frequency.
there's your four channels and this is ready to go also this also has an FM radio in it So that's our station right here in Reading, 102.5. There it is, Y102. While it's on, I can still use the ham radio. So it's a great little, great little radio out of China. I'm very happy with it. Uh, it's everything I wanted. So there it is. The box is complete. Going to put this on YouTube. I'm finished with it. I'm happy. Turn this off. It's ready to go. Thank you, folks. Allowing me to put these on. Six minutes worth. By the time I put the tail and the, and the beginning of it on, it'll be about eight. Thank you very much. Bye.